Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. When it comes to cookware for the backcountry, many would say that titanium is the ultimate or the best way to go. Now, some people say it's not. It obviously has certain properties that other metals do not, but it's very popular because it is very lightweight. Besides being lightweight, it's non-toxic, it's corrosion resistant, and it's very easy to keep clean. The problem is that it can also be very expensive. And if you're looking for uh, some kind of cookware for the backcountry made out of titanium, you wanna make the best decision you can. Basically what I'm saying is you wanna spend your money wisely. So today we're gonna to take a look at three titanium cook kits. The Keith, which is also co-branded by Heavy Cover, the Keith Titanium Canteen Cook Kit, the Pathfinder Titanium Canteen Cook Kit, and the Heavy Cover Titanium Mess Kit. Stay tuned and we'll look at what I'm calling the Titanium Trio. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's jump right into this and look at our first Titanium Canteen Cook Kit. This is the first one that I bought which is the Keith Titanium TI3036 Canteen Mess Kit. It is co-branded by Heavy Cover, meaning that basically they're made in the exact same place. Some of them have a Keith stamp on them. Some of them have a Heavy Cover stamp on them. This is the case that came with the Keith. It does have a nice little sleeve in here for the top, which is very handy. Canteen dimensions are eight by 5.4 by 3.3. The mouth, is very important, which is two inches across. It's a really nice, large opening for your water. It's nice and easy to drink out of. Volume is 1100 milliliters or 37.2 ounces. Weight is 5.6 ounces just for the canteen. The cup with the lid is 3.7 by 5.4 by 3.4. Volume of this is 700 milliliters or just under 24 ounces. Weight with the lid is 4.5 ounces and it has very nice butterfly handles. As you can see, I really like the design of these handles. D-ring on top. You can see this thing is well used. I've used it for, gosh, probably three or four years, almost every time I go out in the woods. Price is 160 bucks, definitely not cheap. As far as pros and cons go, pros, of course, the weight, essentially 10 ounces for both of these. Very, very low weight for what you're getting. It's most like a traditional canteen cook kit if you're looking for more of a nostalgic look to your cook kit. It has that wide canteen mouth and will fit pretty much any case design for a traditional canteen. That's really, really nice. Cons, of course, are cost. There are no volume markers in here, which is a big, big bummer. I mean, that's something easy enough to do, and I think that's a big ball that they dropped. And, of course, it doesn't come with a drinking cup. It's just the cook cup. Uh, you can drink out of it, obviously, but you're gonna use this to cook and you want something different to drink out of. But of course, if you're just drinking water out of the canteen, it works just fine. Very, very nice kit. I mean, it's hard to go wrong with this thing. The Keith Titanium slash Heavy Cover 1.1 liter titanium canteen cook kit. Next, we're gonna look at the Pathfinder TI cook kit. I picked this up about six or eight months ago. Very happy with it. You can see the case that it comes with. Definitely an improvement to the case that comes with the stainless steel uh, canteen cook kit from Pathfinder School. Go ahead and pull this out. You got two snaps right here. There's your canteen, cup, cup, and again, a little Velcro in the front here for your lid. Dimensions of the canteen are 7.5 by 4.75 by 3.5, and the mouth is also two inches across, which is really, really nice does have a D-ring. I didn't mention on the Keith, but it also has a D-ring in case you wanna hang it up from a tree or whatever it might be or off your pack. Volume is the same, 1100 milliliters. Weight is 5.87 ounces. So that is the canteen that comes with this. You can see it's a little different because it's square bottom or squared off. The cup with the lid is 3.75 by 5.6 by 3.5. The lid is a quarter of an inch thick. The volume is 750 milliliters or just under 24 ounces. Weight with the lid is 5.1 ounces. It does fit pretty tightly on there. I mean, it'll stay on, but I wouldn't, wouldn't do much with it. It's not gonna hold water, but it's not gonna fall off very easily. Also has very nice butterfly handles. I don't like the handles as much as I like the handles from the Keith. Last, we have the bowl. It's two by 5.6 by 3.5. The volume of this bowl is 400 milliliters or 14 ounces. Weight is 2.75 ounces. It's very useful to have this extra cup. It has a little bit more traditional type butterfly handles. I do like these quite a bit more than the canteen cup 
The other cool thing is that this lid fits perfectly on top of this as well, so you can interchange the lid between the two vessels that you're cooking with. As you saw, it comes with a pretty decent carrying case, and the total weight is 13.75 ounces. Price is $146. Now, many will say that you can get a very similar uh, kit cheaper on Amazon from a company called Boundless Voyage, and you are absolutely correct, so if you're interested in getting that, but this is the one that's branded by the Pathfinder School, and it's the one that I have. As far as pros and cons go, the canteen is shorter and wider. It's slightly cheaper. That squared off design, like we talked about, carries over to the cup, and it's easy in a lot of situations to rest or mount this on top of a stove because that squared off uh, bottom is, is not as kind of cumbersome as a rounded off bottom of the typical canteen cook kit. And of course you get an extra container, which is really nice. The cons is that it does not fit into all traditional canteen containers because it is a little bit wider than you would normally find. And it can be pretty fiddly getting it in and out. You got all handles coming out everywhere and popping it into the case can be a bit of a pain. Tell you what, it's getting pretty dark out here. Can y'all even see that thing? I mean, it's, it's not that dark, it's just really got a lot of soot on it. This is the heavy cover military style mess kit. Obviously, it's a, it's a different animal than the other two, but I included it in this video because I think a lot of people who are looking for titanium cookware for the backcountry are going to be looking at this along with the canteen cook kits. It is different, but it is similar enough that I decided to put it in together. Overall weight is 13.4 ounces. You get two pieces. You get this cup with the long handle. The main cooking pot dimensions are 5 by 7.75 by 5 and the weight is 7 ounces. Volume of this is 59 ounces, so quite a bit of volume. It has a nice butterfly handles on the back. It also has a very nice locking bail that you can hang it over a fire, which is really, really nice. Definitely something the other two do not have, and if you're looking for something like this, that is definitely something to note. This is also removable if you don't want it. You can easily take it off and leave it at home. The top cup is 2.25 by 7.75 by 5. Weight is 4.15 ounces and the volume is 23 ounces. It has this locking handle and I, I don't know exactly what that means. I, I can't get it to lock or do anything. Any of y'all know? It does come off. So am I missing something? I mean, it can't come through here. If you do that, then you can't move it. So it has to be from up here. Yeah, really the only way is this way. Now, of course, if you're, if you're holding something, it's not a problem, but I don't, I don't really like that very much. Not a big fan of that. This can be used as the lid for your main cook pot if you want to. You also can flip it up like this and use it as a lid like this, which is pretty handy. You could use this as a double boiler if you want to get really crazy so you don't scorch your souffle or anything like that here on top. The lid is 7.75 by 5 by 0.25. Weight is 1.85 ounces, and it will fit either of these very well. Okay, fits that very well. Fits this very well, so that's handy, very much like the Pathfinder. Price of this whole kit is 150 bucks. I did buy this little leather strap, which is just a reproduction from an old German mess kit like this. It's, it's, um, it's junk. I wouldn't buy it. I would make your own. The pros are that it is a huge container for the rest of your kit. You can put all kinds of stuff in here and carry it with you very compactly. It's very lightweight for what you're getting. It has a very tight fitting lid, which is very nice. It won't fall off easily. And the handles are good. It has very good handles, both on the large pot. And even though this is a little annoying, it still works very well. I just, I don't understand the concept of it being a locking handle. Once again, if I am just completely missing it here, let me know. As far as cons go, there's no water container. Of course, you know that going in. You, you get the pros with the cons, so you're able to put a lot of kit and stuff inside of it and have it protected in your bag, but you are gonna have to carry a separate water container. It is a little bit fiddly to put together. Um, the lid gets in the way, you know, the way that it's, I don't know, the way I do it is, is put it together like this. And then there's really nowhere for this to kind of go. I just put it kind of on top here. So it, it, it is a little fiddly and I wish it was a little bit, I don't know. You wish that it had a, basically you wish it had a carrying case that you could fit the lid in and it would make things a lot easier. But overall, it is a very nice piece of kit. So there's a look at these very expensive titanium cook kits. Um, I know I'm going to be asked what my favorite is, and I think it might be a little surprising to some of you guys. The Pathfinder Titanium Canteen Cook Kit is finding its way into my day rook more and more. 
Over the years, I've done a lot of videos on cook kits. I've made my own cook kits. And even for ultralight cook kits on the trail, I really like having a separate vessel to drink my coffee out of. And the traditional uh, Keith or heavy cover titanium uh, canteen cook kit does not have a separate cup. Now I can bring one, so it's not a really big deal, but the Pathfinder has it built in all together. You get the cup to drink out of, the pot to cook out of, a lid that goes with both, and of course the canteen. So at this point, that's actually my winner for that reason. Now I've not used it nearly as much as I have the Keith, so over time, if I have any problems with it, I'll let y'all know. Now I have complete reviews on each of these on my channel. I'll leave links down below. Uh, very specific, detailed looks, at pros and cons, a little bit more in depth into each of them. So if you're interested in that, look down in the description. And I'll make sure and try to remember to leave that. I'll also put it up here in the cards. Uh, it should, whenever each one starts to get talked about, it should show up in the cards. So once again, is this all just overpriced bushcraft bling? I mean, is titanium crap? Should nobody be carrying titanium? Obviously there's a pretty big difference between the mess kit and the titanium cook kits. But I think that all three of these are very popular and I thought that people that are looking for some kind of a kit like this made out of titanium are gonna look at one of these three most likely. That's why I kind of decided to put them in a video together so you could see. If you're looking for one of these, what is the best option for you? All of these are featured quite a bit in my channel. Over the years I've used, like I said, the Keith Titanium the longest and so it's in most of my videos but I'm gonna start using the others more and get a little more experience with them. Really interested to hear your comments down below. Again, these are very expensive pieces of gear and you really wanna probably buy just one. You're not gonna be like me and buy all of them. I bought them to, to mainly for the channel to, to compare and contrast because people really wanna know about these products. So I sacrifice myself and do that for you. Let me know down in the comments what you think and what your favorite is. Do me a favor guys, if you like the video, real important, just hit that thumbs up down below. Helps my channel grow. I'm not looking for any kind of donations or anything at all. Just hit the thumbs up and that'll do just fine for me. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any videos, hit that notification bell and you will be the first to know. Hope you guys enjoy to look at these three very common and popular titanium cook kits. I hope I touched on the one you're either interested in getting or the one you got and you're glad you did. As always guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.